Jeez, it's still going on? Oh, hey again. Big Bad Wolf here talking about how Disney has been getting a lot of bad publicity lately due to them firing the Muppet performer Steve Whitmire, the second official performer of Kermit the Frog. I know Disney has gotten under hot water before, but this seems to be hurting them really bad. I heard some people actually threaten Mickey Mouse about this, when old Mickey had nothing to do with it. Steve asked his, his bosses for a raise, and they fired him over it. Now, if this were back when Jim Henson were behind and running things, he probably would have been glad to oblige, but he's been dead for 27 years. And a big billion dollar corporation like Disney is a whole other story. Being a Disney character, I should know. Heck, I don't know how Walt Disney would feel about how his company is doing now. I wonder if his ghost haunts the big execs like Bob Iger. <laughs> yes, I know Walt wasn't cryogenically frozen. That's a bunch of malarkey. In some aspects, like with the theme parks, the classic Disney magic seems to be there. But in our case, it isn't. The Disney Channel? Ha! <laughs> it's just a load of tweet sitcom garbage. And with maybe a couple of exceptions, like the Mickey Mouse TV shorts or the upcoming DuckTales reboot, Walt Disney Television Animation's output is nothing like they were back in the 80s and 90s. And the execs still stupidly think traditional hand-drawn animation is dead. Though to be fair, some of their recent full-length CG animated features were really good, like Frozen and Zootopia. So they seemed to be... He's slowly going back to their roots there. And in addition to the Muppets, there's also how Disney bought out Marvel Comics and Lucasfilm. That's that they're trying to monopolize the entertainment market. Also, I heard Steve Whitmire was concerned about how Disney was hand controlling and handling Kermit. And lately, Disney and the Henson children have been fighting over him. A few friends and I are wondering if this will result in the Jim Henson Company getting the Muppets back from Disney. I mean, the TV show The Muppets flopped, and Muppets Most Wanted wasn't as big a hit as Disney hoped. In the meantime, Muppet performer Matt Vogel has taken over performing Kermit the Frog. Seems he's taken over lots of Muppets, like Sweetums, Ums Floyd Pepper, Count Von Count... And he's also the understudy for Big Bird. Though he's done a great job with... He's done a great job with Uncle Deadly here. Another one of the late Jerry Nelson's characters. But it's also funny because Matt Vogel also performed Kermit's criminal doppelganger, Constantine, in Muppets Most Wanted. A pretty eerie coincidence, too. But on the lighter side, Boston Comic Con is getting closer, and I'm getting ready for it. Look, I've got more teeth visible now. And all the guests that will be there, too, like Stan Lee, Tim Curry. Adam West is going to appear, too, but he died. Ah, well, I'm still looking forward to this, as it's going to be a big one this year. And, of course, keep watching this channel.